Hi, it's Matt. I uh, <clears throat> I just finished my uh, first training run for the 2010 Cherry Blossom 10 Mile Run. It's five o'clock. It's five o'clock, and it's cold out there. But uh, I made it. It was it was ten repeats of. Uh, my transitions are transitioning back to the inside. I'm gonna take off my hat because I look like I'm like gonna rob a bank or something. Ooh. Um, it was ten repeats of two minutes running and one minute walking, and I I mostly did that except for when there was a giant uphill coming back. So one of the two minutes of running when it was up the giant uphill turned into like one minute of kind of jogging a little and one minute of climbing. But for the most part. Everything was good. My calves didn't tighten up too much. And uh, I tried a new style of running. I was wearing my tennis shoes, but um, my running shoes, but uh, but I, I was running because it was there was a lot of snow on the ground. But I was running kind of like it felt like when I used the um, the barefoot, the Vibram five fingers, where you land on your the midfoot, and you have to consciously for a while anyway, consciously try to not land heel to toe, which is how running shoes often kind of naturally lead you to land. Uh, and it, this this way puts more, kind of, it requires more of your, of your calf muscles and your quads and stuff. It works your muscles more, but it takes pressure and stress off your joints and your knees and, and stuff. And uh, um, actually, a couple times in there, I tried to uh, just go back to the old way of running with the heel to toe, and it felt pretty awkward. So even though landing on your midfoot takes a little more work, it, it ends up feeling more natural, which is makes a lot of sense because that's how people ran before there were these highly engineered running shoes. So anyway, if my glasses transitioned back yet almost. Anyway, uh, so. <clears throat> <sighs> that sucked. <laughs> Gotta do it again tomorrow. Hopefully it's gonna energize me, though, because I've been pretty tired. And I'm getting fat. So, gotta nip those in the bud. Okay, that's all for my running journal. Day one. See you tomorrow.